We shall open the Visual Studio 2010 Professional first. Click on New Project. Move under the Visual C Sharp section. There will find the Windows Forms application. Give it the appropriate name. Say bucket. Okay. Now the appropriate namespace will be created in the window. Now the form has been generated as you can see. Now I can appropriately put its resolution as I would like. I want to extend it a little further down. And here it is. Now one more thing I I have pinned the toolbox here. It may be present in the here window section. You can get everything. And now I will click the toolbox just takes a couple of seconds to load and now we have it ready right now what's the objective of our program here we are con gonna create a form that will be used for the shopping basket or say a shopping cart right so first, we'll need the name of the customer, for which we'll use a text box. Sorry. Yes, we'll go here and we'll look for the text box. Now here we have the text box, right? Now I will drag it, simply drag it and put it here, right? In this way give it a proper width now this is an empty text box we just need to put the label in front of it now choose label and put it in front of it now you need to name it just go to the text here right over right here and give it an appropriate name say customer name fine now you can see it has appeared over here the label one has been resetted as customer name and followed by which you can appropriately format it yeah it's done now here you can find everything well this is the form name and in this window we have this tab saying alphabetical which contains all the names moving on to the next tab we have the properties tab here we will get all the properties regarding say if we create a checkbox which may contain two values respectively as true and false here we will get that property and the third one the most important one is the events here we have got the handling if uh, suppose there is a button and we have to obtain an event we will generate an event rather like uh, button one dot click that means when we will click it it will perform some particular function some particular method will be carried out so it will be pointing towards that event it will be calling that event so this one is very important now we move on to the next part of our form you can move to the toolbox now we need an agent name who will be delivering the contents of the basket right we'll be creating this another text box 
find another label create it accordingly change the name as agent name got it right now that we have got agent name and customer name ready in their particular formatted form now we shall move for the next part that is the basket the particular